Good day, viewers. Welcome to Oka's Beef today. Why do Africans love PhDs? I mean, pull him down syndrome, not academic PhDs. We often complain about the hypocrisy in the wider society we live in, the injustice to Africans. Why should Africans be hewers of food and drawers of water? But we often are hypocrites ourselves. We bicker among ourselves. We pull each other down. When we see someone trying to do something important and something helpful to our society, we try to pull the person down. Some of us cannot do certain things. Even if they know that they cannot do that, when they see someone who can do that, they wouldn't hear of that. They will want to try to pull the person down. Well, that is not fair. How do we get our fair share in the society? How do we move forward? Africans, I mean some Africans, are ready to even patronize people who wouldn't even employ them than patronizing their own people. Well, I'm saying this by the virtue of the fact uh, of my job as editor of Africa World News. We have raised a platform for our people to tell the opinion, to celebrate themselves, to do all those things that the media wants. Good thing we are beginning to reach more and more hundreds of thousands across the world. But you still see people who wrestle to pull us down. Well, that's not fair. In as much as they cannot do that, but why do Africans get involved in, in that sort of thing? And we complain, we keep complaining that, hey, after getting my PhD, after getting my master's, I cannot get the kind of job I want. I cannot do this. I cannot do that. When you see someone in the society who is trying to raise a platform for our people, you want to pull the person down. Well, that's not fair. It's marks of hypocrisy, lack of confidence, and so on. Please, let us avoid PhDs. It is not good for the progress of our society. Check out what we are doing at africaworldnewspaper.com and africaworldtv.org. Follow our Facebook pages and follow our Twitter, Africa World News. Thank you, Okachuku Okori, editor of Africa World News, Dublin.